Are we on? Hello, SPN family. I'm Steph with Creation, and welcome to our super celebration of virtual experiences featuring the cast of Supernatural. Just a reminder that the top tipper wins a five-minute one-on-one video meet and greet with Jim right after this panel, so make sure your top supporter information is updated with your current email address. To do that, under the stage at screen, you'll see where it says Top Supporter Rewards. Go ahead and scroll to the link that says Complete Your Top Supporter Information. If you'd like to tip, Click the green tip button on the bottom left hand corner of your stage screen. All right, next up today is an actor, a playwright, and a screenwriter who's been all over film and television. But to us, he's our beloved Bobby Singer. Please welcome Jim Beaver. Hey guys, I can't see you, but they tell me you're out there. So I hope you idiots are doing okay. Um, well, um, I guess you guys are like from all over the world. I'm looking at some of the questions that have already been put in here. And um, that's kind of cool. Um, this is weird doing a panel without uh, seeing the people I'm panelizing. But uh, I guess I'll just get into, uh, get into the questions. Uh, Gayward Sun says, what is the biggest difference between our Bobby and Apocalypse Bobby and which do you like better? Well, the biggest difference um, from uh, the biggest difference is that uh, uh, Apocalypse Bobby, uh, Alt Bobby, doesn't have a history with the boys, and um, uh, that's the biggest factor in my kind of preferring playing regular Bobby. Um, I miss the I've missed the humor and the love between uh him and them and uh it's um the personality is there in both but the history isn't so i much prefer playing regular bobby but um i've been very happy to take whatever was offered so um hannah hannah uh asks what is my favorite book um well, my favorite novel is Look Homeward Angel by Thomas Wolfe. Um, it's um, by far my favorite novel. Um, my um, favorite nonfiction book is called Wanderer by the actor Sterling Hayden. Um, it's an autobiography, but it's got only a little bit to do with acting in Hollywood. It's uh, much more about um, how one lives one's life, and it's about sailing and uh, um, and the adventures he had in his life, which are uh, fascinating. I've read it several times, getting ready to read it again. So, uh, Juliana asks, tell me more about participating in The Boys. Well, um, if you've watched The Boys, you know that um, uh, there's a another Robert Singer. And uh, he doesn't seem at the moment to have anything to do with Supernatural's Bobby Singer, but um, he does have the same name. So um, I play the Secretary of Defense on um, the boys and it's a lot of fun. And I think it's a very cool, fun, outrageous show. Um, and uh, it's got a lot to say about the state of the world, and uh, uh, but it's really funny and eh, kind of violent, and uh, it, and there all these things happen that you go, oh my god, I can't believe they're going there, and they do. So um, it's um, Jensen is going to be joining the cast uh, this next season. Um, I've seen a couple of scripts so far. We don't have any scenes together. But that may happen. Who knows? Um, anyway, it's a lot of fun. So, let me see. Noble Nanza says, someone asked this great question in the Jake panel this morning. What is something you're proud of that you don't get to talk about? Well, uh, boy, I pretty much talk about everything, don't I? Uh, Shutting me up is kind of hard. Um, 
Hmm. Something I'm proud of that I don't get to talk about. Um, wow. That's a, that's a tough one. Um, I, you know, I, I, I'm given an awful lot of opportunities to talk and, uh, uh, and people ask me about things that I might be proud of fairly often. I can't think of anything I haven't said. I'm, I'm probably my proudest accomplishment is my book, Life's That Way, uh, which started out just to be a record of a year in my life, but turned into something that a lot of people found very helpful. And I'm very proud of that fact. Uh, even though truth is, I didn't set out to help anybody but me. Uh, it seems to have been a useful book for a lot of people. So I guess there's that. And the fact that uh, um, I, uh, I managed to, to raise a beautiful daughter um, uh, pretty much by myself. And she isn't crazy or uh, a murderer or uh, um, a drug kingpin or uh, I guess it'd be a queen pin for a woman, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I, um, uh, those are the two things I'm proudest of in my life. Um, so, but I get to talk about those. Let's see. Dark Sakura, how do you like to start your day? Do you have any life advice? <laughs> do I look like a guy with life advice? Um, I like to start my day uh, by weighing myself. And it's all uphill from there. Or downhill. I'm not sure. Um, no, I don't exactly have a routine. I, uh, um, I don't actually like to start my day. I like to just sleep, but I don't sleep as well as I would like to. So eventually I wake up. And um, but my life advice is, uh, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, keep putting one foot in front of the other and uh, uh, don't make anybody sorry that you're around. That's pretty simple stuff. Let's see. Fantastica Mila. How do you feel knowing that the phrase family don't end with blood said by Bobby is important for SBN family even today? I think it's really cool. I didn't write the line, uh, but even when I said it, I knew it was a great line, but I had no idea it was going to uh, turn out to be really the definitive line of the show. Um, but it's, um, it's true. Family is not just what you're born into. It's what you make and what you're accepted into and what you accept. And we in the supernatural world have, uh, thrown a very wide net and, uh, uh, we're a very inclusive group. And, uh, Nobody looks at Supernatural fans and says, you know, what's your religion? What country are you from? Uh, what's your race? What's your political beliefs? We just take everybody in and we're better for that. And I think that uh, family don't end with blood is a great line to be known for saying, but it's an even greater line for uh, what it means to us in this supernatural world and in our regular world as well. Um, Camille Silva says, of all the advice Bobby has ever given Sam and Dean, which one do you follow off screen? Well, I'd have to remember some of the advice I gave in order to answer that well. Um, did I? Um, well, I think I told them to shut up a few times. I don't know if that counts as advice, but, uh, as you can uh, tell, if you've been around me at all, I don't follow that bit of advice. Um, it's, uh, yeah, you know, 
Um, don't be an idiot. Um, Red17 asks, do you think Bobby becoming a father figure to Sam and Dean in their early stages of adulthood played a part in the men they became? Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, we are all part of whatever our experiences have been and our relationships. So I think it's, it's pretty obvious. They, uh, uh, I like to think they benefited from being around Bobby. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, he may have benefited from being around them too. Who knows? Lemon Pie says, I saw you in Enterprise. How was it to be in Star Trek? Uh, it was fun for, you know, a day, because that's all I was in it. Um, I was in the pilot of Star Trek Enterprise. And, um, you know, it was fun. It was um, uh, a, a very brief experience. Um, I liked the people I worked with. Um, and uh, and I had a, uh, a vaguely noteworthy line because I didn't I didn't know exactly exactly what this creature was we were um, investigating and I uh, tried to show how smart I was by saying it's a Klingon before getting corrected so um, yeah it was fun it was it was very short life. Uh, I, I went in and shot all of my stuff in one day and uh, never went back. So, uh, uh, you know, could have been worse, could have been better. Um, Irregular asks, was it difficult to record knowing it would be the last time? Brazil loves you. Oh, obrigado. Um, yeah, it was it was difficult because not so much the scenes themselves, the last time I worked there, it was just difficult knowing that this family that I had worked with for 15 years uh, was breaking up. And I think we'll always know each other and always love each other and always um, be there for each other. Um, you can't work that closely with people you really, really like for 15 years and uh, and just drop them out of your life. Um, and uh, many of the closest people in my personal life are people I met on the Supernatural set. Uh, so it was difficult saying goodbye. It wasn't difficult shooting the scene. Uh, my last scene was, you know, it was just work uh, like they all are. Um, and, uh, the crew makes it easy. Um, but what was hard was, was just, uh, it, it was also because we were shooting, you know, in the pandemic and we had to stay away from each other and you're trying to say goodbye to people you've worked with for 15 years and you can't really hug them. Uh, uh that was painful, but, um, um, you know, life goes on. Uh, Ka says, my question is, what's your favorite food? Well, I like sushi an awful lot. Um, I like ice cream a lot too, but I try not to eat it. Um, I, uh, I managed to lose about 30 pounds in the last year or so, and I'm very happy about that. And part of the reason is I stopped eating ice cream every day. So, um, yeah, so I'm left with sushi, but I like sushi a lot. So. Um, Kennelly Oliveira, I hope I'm pronouncing your names right. It's, um, uh, it's all guesswork here. Um, hi, Jim, do you have any new projects? What would be a dream project for you? Uh, other than the boys, which, uh, is ongoing. Um, and the, uh, movie I just finished, um, 
uh, a new movie by Guillermo del Toro called Nightmare Alley, um, which I just finished uh, a couple of weeks ago. Other than that, uh, I don't have any new projects. Dream project would be for this uh, pandemic to end and theaters to open back up so that I could do a play. Uh, I really want to do um, a Eugene O'Neill play, and I'd love to do some Shakespeare. Uh, and I was sort of hoping to do that this year, but um, coronavirus had other ideas. So when, uh, when and if we're all safe together in crowds again, uh, my dream project would really involve uh, doing something in the theater. So thanks for your question. Um, oh, Stephanie, Stefan, Lopez. Again, forgive me if I'm getting this wrong. Supernatural has marked our lives forever. What TV show has had that effect on you when you were growing up? Hmm. Well, from the time I was about six or seven, uh, I was uh, a fanatical fan of uh, Adventures of Superman. Um, and it's, um, I, I, I'm not such a big superhero fan. I don't pay much attention to superhero movies or TV shows anymore. Um, but uh, that, uh, that show happened to have a, a very large effect on, on me growing up uh, in terms of um, you know, having a, having a kind of idealized uh, role model. And, um, but also because uh, as I got older and got interested in uh, film and television history, um, I uh, particularly got interested in the biographies of people who uh, made film and television. And uh, I've been working for a number of years on a biography of George Reeves who played Superman in that show and uh, i'm sure that um that effect has been incalculable because i've been working on it for years and it's um the very reason i'm in hollywood is i came out here years ago to work on that book and i'm still here and i'm still working on the book but uh yeah i had that show had a big effect on me um Sarah Mora, how do you think Bobby would handle quarantine? Well, Bobby is not an idiot. Bobby would wear a mask. He would social distance. Um, he knows what it's like to get a supernatural bug inside of him, and he doesn't want any natural bugs inside of him. So uh, um, uh, he's, um, he's a smart man, and I think he would... Uh, follow all the guidelines and protocols, and uh, I'm sure it wouldn't be a wimp about it. Uh, Dan Escoto Ledesma. Oh, please, I hope I said that right. Uh, what do you prefer, acting or screenwriting? Love from Mexico. Um, oh, I much prefer acting. Uh, I, I like having written, but I find the actual job of writing really tough. I've done a lot of it uh, because ideas uh, keep coming to me and, uh, and they don't want to stay squashed inside of me. So I end up writing them. But uh, in terms of pure enjoyment of the process, uh, it's acting by about a thousand miles. Um, there's a lot of work involved in that, too, but um, it's almost always fun. And screenwriting is only very, very rarely fun. Uh, it's much more fun after you've finished. Um, so, uh, Kate or Katie S says, how do you think Garth did in taking over for Bobby? Well, um, truth is, I don't think I ever saw any episodes that Garth took over for Bobby in, but rumor has it, uh, he wasn't quite up to the task. So, uh, um, 
yeah, I, um, uh, you know, I guess the kid does what he can do, but, uh, uh, you know, there's only one Bobby. Well, apparently there's two now. So what, uh, what am I talking about? Alice MB 25. If you could go to any time in history, when would it be and why? Wow. Well, that question is so full of possibilities. I mean, could I go to any time in history and change things for the better? Or would I just be stuck observing? Um, would I be able to come back? Um, you see how, why I have such a difficult time in life? Because every question I get asked, asked brings up 50 more questions for me. Um, I would, uh, hmm. That's interesting. Well, there are a few mysteries in life that I would love to go back in time and find out the truth about. Um, uh, the how and why of certain uh, historical people and their deaths. Um, I, uh, uh, you know, there, uh, uh, there are a lot of times I would love to be in the room where it happened um, uh, to see what really happened at moments in history. Um, if I were to pick one, um, gosh, it's hard. Um, I suppose I'd like to be in a knife safe spot in the um, Texas School Book Depository sixth floor and uh, see if I could uh, settle that argument uh, for all time. But, uh, and maybe stopping the Kennedy assassination would be a good thing. Maybe it wouldn't. If you've read Stephen King's novel, uh, 112263, you'll know that sometimes things get worse when you change history. But uh, if it was just for observation, yeah, I'd probably take that. Maybe, I don't know. Um, what have I, oh, Fired J-M-H. I have no idea how to pronounce that, if that's one word or just a handle. But anyway, what have you been doing to keep sane during pandemic war? I have been writing and I have been watching 30 kajillion movies and binging TV shows. And um, that's about it. It hasn't kept me entirely sane, but that's what I've been doing, trying to. So, um, um, Bia, Bia from Brazil. Well, uh, what is your favorite musical band? Um, that would have to be the Beatles. Um, although, uh, Eagles and the Ventures, um, are very close to the top of my list, but uh, I don't think anybody ever did a string of great songs that comes anywhere matching the Beatles record. And uh, uh, and while there's lots of good music nowadays, uh, it's it's hard to think of anything that competes. Not in my book. But. So, uh, obrigado. Sam Winchester's hair. Okay. Hey, oh, Jim, the name's Ollie. Okay, Ollie, I'll go with that. What is a food typically considered weird that you actually enjoy? Um, I like pickled pig's feet. Um, I, um, uh, let me think. There, You know, the, um, I suppose there are some foods that people, I mean, you know, some people will say, oh, you eat sushi. That's horrible. How could you do that? Um, and then, of course, you know, there are millions of other people who uh, feel exactly the opposite. So I guess it would depend on who's calling it weird. But um, um, I... Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, I, I just mentioned to my wife the other day that I like pickles, pigs, 
pickled pig's feet. And she looked at me as if she were regretting some vows she had made. So, um, Sammy in the Sky asks, would you ever play a very, very bad villain? Oh, but I have, my friend. I have. I, um, uh, I've played uh, lots of murderers. I've played uh, child molesters. I've played, uh, um, um, you know, abusive parents and abusive husbands and, um, I've, um, yeah, uh, I, it, it's fun playing villains, um, especially if they're uh, well written and you can figure out a way to get into their heads and, and uh, understand them a little bit. Um, I like playing villains. Um, so, yeah, that's a big yes to that. It's, it's fun. They're often more fun than the nice guy parts. Um, um, SPN brother, what was your personal favorite funny scene in Supernatural to shoot or watch? Love from the Netherlands. Oh, okay. Well, um, favorite funny scene. Um, oh gosh, there's so many. There's so many. Um, sometimes it's just lines. You know, sometimes it's not even the whole scene is funny, but uh, um, it's um, it's sometimes it's just a line, like you know, uh, 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 not me, the FBI, Garth, the real FBI. Uh, I probably misquoted my own line, but. Uh, um, the um uh a lot of times the, the the funniest stuff is even in a serious scene and uh um it's um it was a lot of stuff in weekend at bobby's that i thought was funny that uh uh i love to watch again and i, and I love to to shoot um the scene where um uh jennifer aspen got uh sprayed with creature guts out of the uh, wood chipper in weekend at bobby's was pretty funny i don't know if it was all that funny to her because she was a mess but uh um i had fun shooting it and um so oh triz ribero writes what was the difficulty for you of being bobby the difficulty of being bobby was um, just not getting to do it often enough. I mean, I had so much fun playing the character and, um, I believe I did 71 episodes of the show and I would have been very happy doing, uh, three times that. Um, but, uh, you know, it works out the way it works out. Uh, there wasn't any great difficulty playing the part. Uh, he was written very naturally for me. Um, I don't mean he was written for me. I just mean he was written in a way that was very natural for me to play. I didn't have to work too hard. Um, there were occasional scenes, uh, particularly scenes involving Bobby's wife, Karen, uh, that were emotionally difficult. But actors love that stuff. Even, you know, even if you go home at night wrung out from the emotion, uh, it's... Uh, it's the kind of stuff actors love to do. So uh, some of it was difficult to achieve well, but it was um, it was very wonderful to have the opportunity to do it. Uh, for the most part, it was it was um, it was pretty it was pretty easy um, in the sense of it was always enjoyable and it never felt like work I wanted to stop doing. But Sabe Winchester, which director would you like to work with? Love from me, Cole. I, well, I, you know, I've worked with Guillermo del Toro twice now, and he tells me he's got another movie he wants me to work on with him at some point. 
uh, and that makes me very happy, of uh, directors I haven't worked with. Um, I would love to, very much love to work with Alexander and I do, uh, oh geez, I forgot his last name. Um, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, he directed Amoros Pavos and uh, The Revenant. Um, God, I just blanked on his last name. Well, I'll never work for him. <laughs> um, and I'd love to work for Martin Scorsese just because he's, uh, I think, one of the two or three best directors working today. Um, I just like working with people who know what they're doing. Um, I think, uh, let me see, I don't know how to pronounce this. It looks like Yerli Chickle, but I'm sure I messed that up. And you're asking about how was it working with Del Toro? Uh, uh, yes, I would love to work with him again. I think I will. Um, he seems to have this inordinate fondness for me, and I don't know why. Um, but uh, working with him has been uh, among the absolute greatest experiences of my life. Uh, he's a genius, and he's also a sweetheart. And uh, I had so much fun in his company, and I had so much fun being around him because we have a lot of interests in common. and. Uh, um, and he's such a loyal and giving person in addition to his vast talents as a director. Uh, yeah, I'd work with him again anytime he called. Eba, if you could visit any other country in the world after COVID, which town? Well, thanks to Supernatural fans, I have gotten to visit many, many, many places around this world. Um, sorry, flat earthers. Um, and there are very few that I would really love to visit that I haven't had a chance to. I mean, there, there are lots, but I, I've knocked an awful lot of cities off my bucket list. Um, I still haven't been to anywhere in Africa, and I would love to uh, to go there to Nairobi or Johannesburg or uh, Cairo. Or, I'd love to visit Africa. Um, and, uh, uh, but I, I dearly love Italy. I've been there several times and would always love to go back. Uh, the, the, the town of Amalfi on the Amalfi coast of Italy is a place is maybe my favorite place on earth, but uh, I loved Amsterdam. Um, I love London. Um, I love Dublin. Uh, but these were all bucket list places that I actually got to go to. So I'm um, I'm up for uh, I'm up for anything when it's safe to go. I really am. Um, I thought I was going to be spending a lot of this year traveling to wonderful cities around the world. And uh, uh, COVID put a stop to that. But uh, I want to see Brazil and South America too. Um, I've had the opportunity to go to uh, Brazil a couple of times and it's fallen through. So I'm really sad about that. Um, uh, South America seems like it must just be a wonderful, wonderful place to visit. Um, so one of these days, uh, Paumolico, maybe I said that right. I don't know. Oh, it's Paula. Uh, what's your favorite Shakespeare play? Well, it's tough. I, I, I normally say Hamlet. Uh, I love Hamlet deeply. Um, I love Richard the third. I love the Scottish play. I love King Lear. I love all of Shakespeare a lot. Uh, but those are my favorites. But um, if I could be any age and believable, um, the play I would probably most like to do is Hamlet. Um, I'm, uh, I'm too old for the main role, um, but there's a lot of other great Shakespeare roles that I'm 
still in the running for, and I hope I get a chance to do some of them. Oh, Flavia Alves from Brazil, Obrigado. What is your top three favorite movies? Hmm. Oh, you probably haven't heard of any of them. Um, you know, um, remember I'm old. And on top of being old, I like old movies uh, a lot. My three favorite films are uh, the John Ford film, The Searchers from 1956, which is my all time favorite. Um, my second and third are um, Sam Peckinpah's 1962 film, Ride the High Country. And um, uh, 1975's um, Farewell, My Lovely, uh, a detective story with Robert Mitchum. Um, I like a lot of movies from nowadays, but I like a lot more movies from the old days, um, probably because that's what I grew up on. And some of them have sentimental reasons. My dad and I used to watch The Searchers together whenever it was on. And uh, so I've got fond memories in that regard as well. Um, it's a great Brazilian movie, um, uh, uh, Orfeo, uh, that, uh, is that right? Is that the name of it? Orfeo Negro, Black Orpheus. Yeah. Wow. What a beautiful movie. What a beautiful movie. Um, I like a lot of movies. I see a lot, so it makes it hard to pick sometimes. Ah, Camille Silva is back. What was it like to shoot the scenes between Bobby and Rufus? Well, it was a lot of fun. Stephen Williams is a hoot. He's a grand guy. I, I, I've come to love working with him. I wasn't crazy about it at first because he likes to make up lines. He likes to ad lib and I'm not very good at it. And I, uh, especially when I'm not expecting it, now, when I work with him, I'm kind of expecting it. But at the beginning, the first first scenes we had together, I, I thought, what is this guy saying? It's not in the script. And I have never been a comfortable improviser. Uh, I can do it, but it it um, it's not my comfort zone. But it's sure Stephen's comfort zone. And we have a relationship that's a little bit like Bobby and Rufus's relationship. There's a lot of banter and uh, ragging on each other, but he is a sweet guy. I love him. Um, Heba 1520. Uh, my question is, what's the scariest moment you had on stories on Supernatural that scares me because I don't really believe in that stuff. Plus when you're shooting it, you know, there's 200 guys around uh, with bad haircuts and butt cracks uh, picking up lumber around you. It's not nearly as scary as it looks on screen. Um, probably the scariest time I had on the show was uh, um, I was um, uh, I fell down the stairs in, in Bobby's basement uh, one time, which was completely unplanned. And um, I was lucky I didn't hurt myself pretty bad, but uh, um, they were rolling. I'm surprised it didn't show up on the gag reel because uh, I took a nice tumble, fell all the way down the stairs. But uh, uh, I guess they were being kind. They didn't put it in the gag reel. So uh, Brittany says, refresh if you can. Oh, I already did that. Okay. Uh, Stephanie Carroll, did I say that right? What's your favorite series to watch? Um, wow. Uh, favorite series to watch that's on now? Let me narrow it down to that. Um, I really like The Boys. I liked it before I ever saw me in it. Um, and even when I was on it, I still liked it. Um, I... Um, Oh, I, I, I absolutely love a show called Get Shorty. Uh, absolutely love it. Um, 
its own epics here in the States. Uh, but uh, tune in, it's well worth it. And it kind of flies under the radar. Not many people seem to know about it. But it's a great show, get shorty. Um, yeah, I like that. I like, um, I really like Peaky Blinders. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next season. And, um, but there's so much good stuff these days. There is so much good stuff. Uh, it's, it's hard to keep track of it. Hmm. Um, Luana says, do you have a favorite season since you're the only person to have been in every one with J2? Who's J2? Um, a favorite season. Hmm. Well, um, I would say I don't have a favorite season, really. Uh, the first seven were real favorites because I worked a lot. And um, uh, probably uh, there were elements of the fifth and sixth season that I really loved. Uh, I wasn't that crazy about the wheelchair part of season five because it kind of limited what I could do in the show or what Bobby could do. And, um, uh, but yeah, all of that stuff around season four, five, six, seven, there was just so much great stuff to do. And, um, so yeah, um, that's, um, that's a really vague answer. Thank you. Oh, this says last question from somebody whose name I can't even begin to pronounce, RPX Micah, Mika. What is the best memory you take from Supernatural? Argentina loves you. Well, um, the best memory from Supernatural is the people I worked with. Um, there, there simply wasn't anybody there I didn't love and don't still love. Um, I, uh, I, I remember how, how welcoming everyone was when I joined in season one and, uh, how astonishing it was that we were able to have so much fun and still get good work done because they don't always happen together. Um, and, uh, the, just the humor and love we all felt for each other. And um, uh, I, I, uh, that's what I'll take most from the show. And in a close second place is getting to meet thousands upon thousands of wonderful Supernatural fans. So uh, an actor would be blessed to have half the blessings I've had from this show. So uh, thank you all. Uh, it's been wonderful. I wish I could have seen your faces. I wish we could all be in the same room and, you know, not die. Uh, but uh, uh, it's much appreciated. You guys take care. We'll see you the next time. Jim, we appreciate you. And thank you so much for being here with us today. It's so nice to see you virtually. And we definitely miss seeing you in person as well. Okay, guys, tipping is now done, and we'll bring you the results in just a few moments. But first, make sure you're signed up on our email list through our website, creationent.com, and follow us on social media at creationent on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hopefully, we'll be able to come back with live events soon. We really, really miss you guys. Okay, our winner, our winner of the five-minute one-on-one meet and greet with Jim is Lioness NYC. Lioness NYC, you're our winner. So go ahead and uh, check your email. We're gonna send you the link, but just in case, hang out in this chat if we have any issues getting you your link. All right, you guys, we're gonna be back tomorrow. It's an exciting day. We're gonna be back with the one and only Jensen Ackles. So we'll see you then.